Hey everybody, this is a video for the roofing contractor and how we can use Bluebeam to capture some of those hard to get measurements, uh, whether you're required to travel to measure rooftops or maybe you don't have roof access. Uh, we're gonna show you how you can quickly take those measurements and get your estimates done, uh, possibly without even traveling. So here we go. To start out, I just have a basic roof plan here. We're going to dive in and show you where the area measurement tool is over here on the measurement tab. Click on that area measurement and then we can just really quickly go through and snap in the corners all the way around. Obviously, I already calibrated this drawing, so it's giving me the correct measurements. I'm going to go through, click on all the corners so that it calculates the area of the shape that I'm drawing. And when I'm done here, I'm going to double click, colors it in for me. And down here, it's telling me 17,728 square feet. Now, uh, there's a few other things that I can do with this measurement. Obviously, that's going to give me perhaps the flat part of the membrane. Um, I can use that to calculate a lot of different materials. But let's see if we can't automate some of that. First off, this area here may have a different type of roof, looks like maybe a skylight. So I'm going to go up into that same tool in the pull down and do my polygon cutout and just very quickly trace that and cut out that area. Same thing down here. Trace, click and drag to eliminate that area. And you'll see that the square footage changed along with it. Now you might be asking about the perimeter. Uh, maybe there's other calculations for the membrane going vertical along the parapet. If we select the markup, we can also turn on the length. So over here, I can turn on the length and here it's gonna show me the length of the perimeter. And that also does include around this part that we cut out. So I'll show you here. If I do another cutout, you'll watch that number change. You'll actually watch both of those numbers change so here we go because the area of the membrane and length of perimeter will change along with that so there you can see we've got the length and the area and maybe you've got some sort of material like pea gravel or something like that that you're putting in you need to measure the volume we can do that as well if we select the markup here go over and select volume we can turn that parameter on as well. But what we need to do is determine how deep is that gravel um, consistently along the roof surface. So maybe it's an inch. So let's just put an inch in here for the depth and then come out here. And now it gives us the volume of that pea gravel. And we want to switch how that's reported. So we select the markup again, come over here. Instead of cubic feet, we want that in cubic yards. So we can select that. It tells us exactly how much we need for that rooftop. So that's a quick way that we can do the measurements and estimates when we have a drawing. I want to show you a couple of ways that we can work with estimates when we don't have a drawing. So first off, I'm going to show you how to create a blank sheet that we can draw on. So let's say we're out on site and we need to map this thing out. Okay, so one way we can do this is to go in and start a new PDF. And I'm gonna use this to draw the roof as I go through my measurements. So maybe I'll make this a 36 by 24 landscape. Um, 36 by 24. And rather than blank, you can do blank or you can do maybe an eighth inch uh, light blue grid. So with this, it's going to set up uh, engineering grid on our sheet of paper. So you can use these grids to draw and sketch the shape and size of that roof top and then get your area measurements and things like that. Another way to do that is uh, you could start with just a blank page. So let's start the same new PDF this time We'll do a blank one. Say OK. Once we have our blank sheet, we can come in here and use our sketch to scale tools in here. 
I use the polygon sketch to scale. And with this one, I just pick a start point. I come out, drag it out to the left, and maybe I'll go 38 feet. I can type that in, hit enter. I can draw that. And maybe we're going 8 feet. And let's go 12 feet this way. 25. Let's go 45 this way. Just holding my shift key to help me draw a straight line. And I'm going to say uh, 25 feet. And then double click when I'm done with that shape. Okay, so that's going to give me my roof there. And now I can go in and ask it for the square footage and things like that. So once I have this all sketched out, I can use the same tools I did earlier for my area measurements. Just trace out this area really quick. and get my square footage. Okay, another way that we can do this, if I delete all of this, is to get an aerial view uh, from Google Earth or some software like that. So let's do that. In Bluebeam, we can actually open a browser. So I'm going to go up here to Window, uh, Web Tab, and I'm going to paste in a URL to my neck of the woods. And then I'm going to use a software that I use all the time called uh, Snagit, where I can take uh, screenshots of whatever I have on my screen. So here I'm going to zoom in on uh, a couple on a building here. In my blog article, you saw I used uh, this building here. There's another one north of here that I used as well. For this purpose, I'm going to use a screenshot here and you'll see in Google Earth, as I zoom in on this, the scale at the bottom is changing. So you see, as I zoom in, that changes a little bit. And what I'm going to do is go into Snagit and hit Capture. And I can do a region of my sheet here. So I want to get that roof. I want to make sure that I get the scale in there as well so that I can calibrate this once I'm in Bluebeam. Okay, so I'm taking that snapshot. It's going to open up here. You can see the scale down here. I'm going to hit copy all. And then I'm going to go back to my blank document here. Right click, paste, and drop that in here on my piece of paper. Okay, now I can go, I'm going to actually flatten this to help me out. I'm going to select it, right click, flatten. And then I'm going to go up to the Calibrate button. Pick two points of a known dimension. And do my best to select this. Hold my Shift key to get a straight line when I calibrate. Over there. And in here, this random distance equals, it says right now, one foot. I'm going to switch this over to meters. And I'm going to type in 10. hit apply scale. So now all the dimensions that we do on here should be accurate. Right, so now that I have the image on here, I can go through just like we did earlier and do an area measurement. I'm just going to go through real quick on a smaller area of our drawing so I don't make this video too long. And when I'm done, I double click and it gives me the area of that part of the roof. I wanted to show you the flat roof there. We also have the option of sloped roofs. So this particular area, it goes all the way around the perimeter of the building as a fake uh, kind of sloped roof. We can get the area of that as well. So I'll just pick uh, a certain area here. We'll just start at this spot here. Come over, trace this area out. And we have to get a little bit creative with where, because these Google Earth images from satellite aren't necessarily straight and perfect, uh, we can kind of make the shapes a little bit more correct. Again, this is just an estimate. Maybe we saved four hours of travel time so we didn't have to get to this particular site. That will give us the square footage of that area. And if we want to apply a slope, like this particular building has a 812 
slope. We know that um, they've given us that information. We can come over to the pitch and set this to 8 to 12. Hit enter. It's going to label it with the 8 to 12 pitch and give us a new square footage. So now you can um, calculate what you need for that particular roofing, which is going to be separate. Uh, there's also things we can do that I've done for customers to build the math in so we know how many squares that is. So they know how to, you know, without doing the math, they can determine how many bundles of shingles they need to buy. And uh, we could even use the square footage to figure out the underlayment and uh, things like that. We can also use the perimeter of this markup at the same time to figure out our edging and things like that. The other one I want to show real quick in this video is ridge lines and valleys on a slope roof. There's obviously different materials that you need there. So uh, we've got flat ridge lines. We can get the measurement of that with our length tool. Just simply go across where you can see that in the, in the image. We've got 26 foot two of ridge material. And then here you can see a valley. We can measure that as well using the same length tool. Comes out, let's just measure it to here, nine foot four. But that one we know is sloped, so we don't want to buy the flat distance material. We want to select that, come over here and add that eighth or that eight to 12 pitch, and it will give us a new length for that material. So now it's 11 foot two because we added the eight 12 pitch in there. So you can see here how we can very quickly, from an aerial image even, do our takeoffs and find those numbers and find those measurements that are hard to get to.